Is this a newcomer? I haven't seen him before. I haven't been here in over a month. Oh, okay. so I have no clue. All right, so no, yeah, there's no cool. So, all right, Steve. Uh, the name of the game is gonna be uh, very, very unethical interactions. Yep. I definitely feel that uh, once Steve gets a combo going against his character, it kind of can go south quickly. But the same can be said about Robert Rob, Gobert. Yeah. And is he? Is he dead? No, of course. Yes, yes, yes he, he is. is. I feel he could have made that bad, but he? I think he messed up his glide, and he yeah. definitely knows it. All right, now this is definitely not. Don't want to be like a deficit early against Rob. You gotta approach this monstrosity. Oh, here goes but the strings. He doesn't like, kind of flub that one a bit there. Yeah. And right now these characters are just kind of just duking it out using their really, really. Is he dead? Wow. He is. That's, a, that's Didn't even try to recover. He hitbox. Hitbox. Nah, he can, I don't think he could have done anything. <laughs> no. He lost his jump. Like that's just. Oh, he did. Yeah, that's oh, just, that's just great. That. That's just that's just great coverage with the down the downer. It's big, yeah. so why not? And right now this is looking admit, uh, not even a minute in, and it's already looking like a wash. Like oh my goodness gracious. That's really bad. And honestly, I feel Mako, a lot of Mako's options are just getting stuffed out by Rob's just ginormous hitboxes. He's just yeah, mostly got Nair. Getting, yeah, for it's sure. Just, it's just, Rob's Nair is humongous. He's gotten stuffed up by back air. He's gotten stuffed up by Nair. He's got stuffed up by down air. He's, he's just been going in the ringer right now. Yeah, Rob's just big. He, he's big. Oh, oh doesn't oh, that, he, didn't, he didn't even need the iron I, to actually yeah. drop an anvil. Yeah, I, I saw it. I was like, oh, buddy. I was like, is he about to drop an anvil with no iron? Against on these up to combos. Unfortunately, doesn't get the down smash follow up though. And once again, uh, this is uh, kind of where Steve's time. This ability just to get uh, a lot off these straight hits into some combo game. I'm surprised he didn't get hit by that block, but it doesn't matter. But right now, he's slowly starting to build some momentum, bringing it back. Oh, very nice tomahawk grab. Knew he, knew, he was a, knew he was afraid to let go of shield there, but yeah, unfortunately, that person's not going to connect. Gonna there was no way. It could have. Could have very, on bad DI, yeah, but and unfortunately not gonna get the follow up. Oh, yes, never mind. I stand corrected. Oh my dual. goodness. This is about to be a reverse three stop. There's Good. no way, right? That down smash almost made it true though. Face plant. Very helpful. Honestly, when I, we gotta see Steve kind of like duke it out, it's kind of it's kind of fun to watch. It is. Like when we gotta see like build the wall. Camping, we'll see, camp, the wall, camp camping ground, and campgrounds, then then, the yeah, game. And then it's like, eh, eh, it's like, like eh, seeing him, oh, calls out the grab, but unable to get the pivot. That might be a stop. Doesn't Malco unable to get the follow up with um, jumping out of the cart. But right now, this, this is definitely, is, oh, he's dead. Unfortunate. Malco was able to bring that all the way back. I feel he was making a lot of good adaptations, but unfortunately, I feel a lot of the time, he was kind of just stuck in shield. He was afraid to, he was afraid of what the rob would do. Like, he was... There are a lot of times, a lot of percents where you just didn't want to get hit, and um, Vex, Vexel just took really good advantage of that. Yeah. That's my fun. Wait, is this Civ? I actually don't know who this yeah, is. Yeah, this, this is it. Why didn't you say that earlier? I mean, no, never mind. Don't worry about it. No one, no one, no one, no one. Dude, it, it, it's on the screen. I didn't shut. It's been a long day. I have been up since 6.30 a.m., all right? I have had to work for like 12 hours. All right, I'm tired. You'll understand. <laughs> I would understand yeah. because I've come here on a Tuesday and I work 12 hour shifts on Tuesdays. My employment guys know we're, we are, we're not cognizant at what time is it? 9.06 p.m. Well, I'm surprised I'm seeing the switch to Inkling here. Yeah, so am I. Oh, now I know who this is. I play this guy on Wi Fi. <laughs> you, you did? Yeah, I did. Back when on online first started being a thing again. Ah, very. His inkling was very solid. <laughs> As we are currently seeing, absolutely wipes the floor with his first stock. I wasn't able to see everything because I, you know, he did I had to call. First, he did 127 percent and left him by 100. percent Inkling got buffs in the lit in the final Smash Ultimate patch and. Uh, yeah, they got buffs, but I didn't think they were actually decent buffs. No, I mean, Splatter Shot having increased range definitely helps a lot in um, long range battles, like some stuff like that. Like, Why? You don't have to, you don't have to walk forward anymore. You don't need to walk forward. You don't need to approach. I just press the beep on I'm, I'm very like glad. The I'm very glad this is on a popular character. I'll just put it that way. This is a very toxic character when done right. All right now, Mako once again finding himself at a deficit to start the game. I don't think he wants to start uh, start this game down three stocks to one like last time. I feel this Rob is looking a bit more sharper than his inkling. Right? In the inkling. Yeah. I, 
tongue twisting my words. God damn, I really am tired. <laughs> Unfortunately, not going to get the down smash to call out the ledge. Need to get up. Very nice down smash to cover most options. <laughs> He's going to continue mining. Yeah, but I love the pace by Malko there. He know knows what he has. So we're just going to force the Inklings to maneuver around that block. Punish uh, the response. Very standard stuff there. Yep. And he's already out of a gold sword. Very nice use of down smash. Mm -hmm. Cover most options. I did not know that could clank. Okay. <laughs> that diamond sword is tough indeed. Yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. That reversal, at all. <laughs> reversal. That's fair. <laughs> fair play. Turn about. Yes, sir. And now he takes mad damage when he gets hit once. Full ink. And that's it. Double back air. 54% already off a couple of hits. Yeah, that's Inkling's Ink. Now we're just playing the splat bomb game. Siv just biding his time, being real patient here. Fortunately, going to eat that minecart being a bit too overzealous. Ooh, I like... I like that. Um, I like that double berry did right there. Kind of baited um, Smako to pull an option. Oh, Whoa! Almost, I think that might have. I think that also might have killed. That probably would have. Up there, up, up there, up, beat, up there. Yeah, would have yeah, barely done. killed, or would have killed. Yeah, yeah. I felt it would have. Like if you, the way the long long you full of charge, but regardless, uh, takes that. Very nice stuff. Just uh, really trap Monko in the air. Juggled. No, no real base from the land. Yeah. Very good stuff to sieve. Got his name right this time. Two over Monko. Good stuff to both players, obviously. Hi guys. How you guys doing? <laughs> I think this was a smaller Xanadu bracket. Was it like 50, 60 entrance? Yeah. Yeah, I, I noticed. Bigger than what I normally play. 